Hello, I'm Robert with BeaverRocket.com. I build Beaver Builder WordPress websites. I'm available for hire to help you make your next Beaver Builder WordPress website a smashing success. You can reach me through the contact information on my website, BeaverRocket.com. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how you can use advanced custom fields with Beaver Builder together so that you can make Beaver Builder layouts and dynamically populate them with advanced custom fields. For this example I created some custom fields and you can see them on the back end of the page in the normal WordPress page editor. So for every one of these layout elements, the images, the titles, and the paragraph text. I created custom fields for those. For example, for the main article, I have article title, where you would enter the title here for the main article. And for the main article image, you can upload an image here. And you have a place to enter the text for the main article. And also for these three sub articles here, I created some custom fields sub article 1 title for the image for the text and the same for the other two sub articles I'll be going over how to create these custom fields in this example right here on this top section of the layout we have the main article title an image for it and its paragraph text so this is a very simple layout, but as web designers know, it, it's a lot of work to create a, a nice layout. And as easy as Beaver Builder is, it's still difficult for people like school principals or teachers, or people that work in companies that need to add or change content on a website that aren't web designers. And they really don't want to know how to use Beaver Builder to make changes to simple titles and text they want to easily add articles and content not only that you really don't want people who aren't qualified going in and making a mess of your layouts adding goofy colors and changing things around and putting in the wrong size and types of images you can control all of that by using advanced custom fields for example in this layout to change this title and this image all we have to do in the back end right here under article title we can change it welcome to beaver and advanced custom fields and I have an image placeholder here and we'll change that we'll delete it and I'll select the Add Image tab. I'll select this beautiful red sports car here. And I'll go ahead and use this part of my text as a, just make it bold so that you could see the changes. Now I'll update. And now when I update the front end of this page, we'll see the changes. And there you have it. So a big advantage of this workflow is that your client training is going to go way down and also your need for tech support for them is going to go way down. Training your clients how to enter titles, select images and enter text is a lot easier and you don't have to worry about them going in and making mistakes and making a mess out of the layout which it's easy to do. It leaves the design and layout and styling to those that are qualified. By combining Beaver Builder and Advanced Custom Fields, it's a very powerful way to make websites. You have all the power of Beaver Builder to do your layout and styling. And we use Advanced Custom Fields, which make it very easy for our clients to go in and add content to their websites. So we'll go ahead and take care of this part of the layout, the three smaller articles underneath the main article. So we'll go to the edit page for this and 
will change the information that's entered into these fields. So let's select an image first. First we'll delete this one. Now we'll add a new one. And let's go ahead and select the Yoast logo. And I'll put Yoast SE. Okay, I have my cap locks on. Yoast SEO. And we'll put Yoast is an excellent WordPress SEO plugin. Okay, and for this one, we'll select a different image. I'll delete that one. I'll reselect another image. And let's go for Mr. MailChimp. We'll put up here. Mail chimp and for underneath here I'll put mail chimp delivers every day come sunshine or rain. Correct that every day. Okay, I'll drop down to this one here. Same thing, we'll reselect a new image. We'll select WooCommerce, the Woo Ninja, and I'll enter a title for the image Commerce, and in here, WooCommerce WordPress Shopping Cart. I'll save that, update it, we'll go back to our page, refresh it. Here we have our updated titles, our new images, and our new text below it. One thing is these images have their own titles and we have our text titles up here as well. So I'll go ahead and change these images out. I've already shown you how to do that in the edit. So I will fast forward while I make these corrections. Okay, so here we have our updated image. Now we'll go into Beaver Page Builder and apply a bit of styling. One thing we'll do here is we will center these titles. And we'll go ahead and give this row a background color. All right, and we'll go ahead and change the text color too. So there you have it. Go ahead and publish this. Change the background color to this row again. Select the different color here and also we'll make the image bigger by changing the width of its column. To follow along with the rest of this tutorial you'll need to install advanced custom fields. It's available free from the wordpress.org website and also the code PHP in widget WordPress plugin. It's also free and available from WordPress.org. Udemy.com has a great class to get started. It's called How to Use Custom Fields in WordPress Theme Development. So if you're not familiar with advanced custom fields, I highly recommend this course to get started.
Okay, so now we'll see how to go in and set something like this up from the start in Advanced Custom Fields and Beaver Builder. Inside of Advanced Custom Fields, I'm going to create a new field group. I'll call this Beaver Demo. Publish it. Now I'll add some fields for the title the image and the text. So right here for this first one I'll call it title. It is a text field. So I'll go ahead and add another field. And I'm going to call this one image. And I'll select the image field Now this is the size of the thumbnail that you will see in the WordPress admin for editing the page. But you can also set parameters like the width and height of the image, the file size, minimum and maximum. So you can really control your layout to assure that people are uploading only the images that are the correct size and type for your, for your Beaver Builder layout. And there's other parameters in here as well that you can add. But the important one here is there's three ways that you can display images or data regarding an image inside of Advanced Custom Field. You have the image array, the image URL, and the image ID. And I'll get into how to display that in Beaver Builder. Finally, we're going to add the text for our custom fields. And for this one, we're going to select the WYSIWYG editor and I just want text so I'll unselect the show media upload buttons so now I'll publish this so in here you can see the three fields I made the title the image and the text this is the area where you select what pages or posts you have on your WordPress website that will have the ability to use these fields so for now I'll set it up as a page and I had created a demo page in advance Beaver PHP let's update this so here I am in this Beaver PHP demo page I created Beaver Builder is active for this page and you can see the three fields that I created the title to select the image and for some text here I'll go ahead and put in a title Beaver rocks with a c f advanced custom fields I'll select an image I'll get this car now and you notice I have put in for the alt text sports car so I've selected my image and I'll paste in some text. All right, and I'll update this. Now we'll see about displaying this on the front end of the page. So here I am in Page Builder and I'm going to place in a heading module. So instead of typing in a heading here I'm going to put in the code that will display our page title so here in the advanced custom fields website we have code examples in order to display our custom fields on our website we have to enter some code and we can enter that code as PHP and there is also some short codes available it only works for simple text-based values what we are going to do is we're going to use PHP for our images and we're going to use the short code for our text so I'll grab a sample from the advanced custom fields website here in a page they have some sample code so here's the simple short code that you can use for text fields I'll highlight and copy it. 
back in Beaver Builder I'll paste it into the heading module settings heading but I'm going to have to change this here with the actual name of the field I created for the title here are the names of our custom fields so I'll copy the title name and Beaver Builder I'll paste it in here and you can see nothing is appearing here so let me check our custom field values somehow our title field is missing so I'll go ahead and re-enter that beaver rocks with advanced custom fields let me update it I'll refresh the page in beaver builder and here is our beautiful title. We'll add some more content for our image in our paragraph text. I'll come in, get a two column. I'll put it in the same row. I'll grab the text editor. I'll put it here. I'm going to get the same code I got here. Copy it. Paste it in here. I need to change the name here to the correct field name. I called it text so I'll paste it in here save it and now we can see our text here but it's it's hard to see because of the dark colors so I'll give my row a background color I'll make it full width content width fixed I'll give it a background color let's just make it white I'll make the text color almost black. And I'll save it. So what we are seeing in this area here is what we entered here. So if we change this an update refresh our page here we can see that it has dynamically updated the content on the front end so let's go ahead and do the image in the advanced custom fields website in their image documentation they have sample code we'll be using the basic display but we have to be sure that our custom field has the correct setting. We want to use the return value image array. So we'll copy this code. In Beaver Builder, we'll add content. And we have installed our PHP widget. So we'll go to WordPress widgets. Here's the one we want, code PHP and widget. We'll drag it into the left hand column. Replace this with our code. And here you go. So I'll apply a CSS class to the image right here. I'll give it the class name of drop shadow save that I'll go to tools layout settings I'll paste in the CSS to give it a shadow and now you can see the shadow here drop shadow I'll save it and publish it and that's advanced custom fields with Beaver Builder I'm Robert with Beaver Rocket I'm a freelance website designer and builder 
I'm available for hire if you would like help with your WordPress website. Don't hesitate to contact me. My contact information is on my website, beaverrocket.com. Thank you for watching the tutorial.